Hello, this is the Extraordinary Rayman because my opinion is just that interesting. Today, I'm going to talk about Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I just finished reading it, and I don't have a lot to say about it aside from the fact that I really enjoyed it. This is not going to be a complex review, but I, I really, really enjoyed this book. What fascinated me about it was when I first heard about the book, I was under the impression that it was going to be more of a kind of like a satirical, um, obnoxious collection of, of fictional events that happened in Abraham Lincoln's life where he goes up and he fights vampires and stuff like that. But that's not what it was like at all. The idea is that the writer, Seth Graham Smith, he writes it like he actually really found like a secret diary by Abraham Lincoln where he recorded him fighting vampires and stuff like that. And there was a decent amount of research gone, put into this book. It, it parallels his life from, you know, his young uh, childhood up to his death. And the whole idea is that his mother was actually killed by a vampire and that that uh, inspired him to become a vampire hunter. So the thing about that is there's not a traditional three-act structure to the book. It's, it is modeled very much like a biography with little snippets of, of, of actual um, journal entries and stuff like that from Abraham Lincoln. And, and it does a really good job of, of the things that are, aren't are actually his uh, journal entries sounding like stuff he would say. I, Seth Graham Smith did an amazing job of writing like Abraham Lincoln. And it's played very straight-faced, which is interesting because it's very straight-faced, but it also is like really, like funny in like a dark sense but it, it's just really fascinating how the vampire aspect of, of of this book is just kind of very matter of factly just abraham lincoln's his dedication to justice his uh his strength and his uh, all that stuff and his legendary size all play into how good he is at fighting vampires now i will say if you've seen the trailer for the movie that might mess up your expectations about what the book is like. It's not at all this big, grandiose, <laughs> matrix action film, which is something you would expect from the guy who directed Wanted. No, it's not like that at all. It's very, very dumbed down. Um, I, I will say, in some regards, once it gets to the end with John Wilkes Booth, it kind of seems a little rushed how he's just kind of introduced as this villain and then just kind of done away with. Also, the the slavery thing, the whole idea is that vampires buy slaves to eat them, which is, is terrifying. But I think it slightly cheapens um, Lincoln's actual, uh, you know, drive to abolish slavery when... He does, he is against it from the beginning, but then he's more against it when he finds out that vampires are into it. Um, but I think they could have... They. There's only one writer. I don't want to say they could have done, he could have done it better, because that is such an overdone critique of anything. It, it's usually what people say when they aren't, you know, articulate enough to, to say something bad about, like a movie or something. But I feel like it was kind of lacking. Kind of like uh, when they introduced the Civil War. And, and like it could have been expanded a little more. Because once he gets to becoming a president, he kind of abandons his vampire hunting. Which is sad because that's what the book's called. But regardless... I, if you're a fan of revisionist history, and if you like Abraham Lincoln, and or if you're just into vampires, I highly recommend this book, especially with the movie coming out. It's going to be really interesting to see how they Hollywoodize this film. Because as it stands, I don't think it necessarily would make a very interesting movie. Because like I said, it doesn't follow a three-act structure. It's very much an autobiography. Well, biography. Um, but it is very very fascinating to read and so i highly recommend it this is the extraordinary rayman signing off i will see you next time